Well, obviously, uh, you know, big ball game because it's the next ball game. I mean, you know, kind of stepping out of SEC play, how do you kind of see the matchup this week? I think it's a really good matchup for us. I think they play really hard. I think they like to hit. I think they're going to come in here with a chip on their shoulder trying to beat us. So we got to be prepared for that. we got to have our, got to have our minds ready to play on Saturday. Will said, too, a lot of, lot of three-man fronts and very similar. Coach Arnett kind of said the same thing. They're kind of similar to what you guys have seen from the Bulldog defense. You know, how does that help you a little bit? I mean, kind of practicing against this same alignment much of the time. Uh, I think that's really big for us, you know, especially getting to see their tendencies and their keys as a defense. Uh, as you said, uh, they, they do a lot of similar things to our defense, so that's going to be really big for us getting prepared and knowing where they're going to be and what they're going to do before they do it. So that can be really big for us if we lock like in. How much more custom do you think the offensive line is getting with the running schemes? Obviously, last year you only had a few running plays, and the schemes are pretty similar, but this is pretty expanded under Bar Bay. How do you feel like that line's coming along with that? Uh, I think I think we're doing a good job. You know, I think I think we're getting better week to week. You know, with, with what we get, and uh, I think we're only going to continue to get better and become more disciplined with that. Going going off of that, you guys only rushed for I think 30 yards at South Carolina, and I mean, obviously took a step forward against Alabama. What was just, I guess, the talk amongst the group between those two games and, and making that jump last Saturday, I guess? Uh, I would say just the game plan, mainly. You know, the schemes we're going up against, that always has a big deal with, you know, what we do on offense. So that can always play a role. But also, you know, we could have done a lot better up front blocking. So, you know, most of the time it's on us up front. So. Who on that line is really standing out to you, especially yeah, some of the newer guys there who haven't had as much playing time? Who's, who's really come along well? Uh, I think collectively as a unit, you know, I'm really proud of all the guys, how far they've come, you know, adjusting to a completely new system, you know. Uh, I think it's been really big, you know, being with the guys every day, learning a new system. So, yeah, I'm proud of everybody. We've seen Don Terry do his thing in mm -hmm. practice. What's it like to get him healthy again, first and foremost, and, and to see him play like that against Alabama? Yeah, being healthy is, you know, is a big thing, obviously, availability. Uh, and he had a he had great production Saturday, which was big for him, uh, especially with depth issues. And so it was good to see him make a stride. And, uh, you know, we'll use him and need him in the, in the near future. So When you're in a situation where you face some adversity, the young guys, I know, kind of look to you older guys to know how to act and mm -hmm. how to react. What's kind of been the message from the senior group to the rest of the roster? Uh, just kind of control what you can control. Uh, obviously, there's not a lot of people that on the outside that like us right now, and so you just can't listen to a lot of that stuff and um, just control what you can control. Uh, Coach Arnett says it all the time, and I mean it's the honest truth. Uh, you gotta, <clears throat> you know, approach each day uh, as, its, as its own day and its own hour, and down to the second, you know, and just, you know, that's kind of what I've done my whole career, and you just gotta make sure that you're doing the little things and, and, and then eventually, not when you want it, eventually it adds up and, and hope for success. Coach said this morning about being angry, team, coaches, everybody, but how do you channel that into productive anger, into getting better and not just beating yourselves up or getting mad about what's going on with the world around you? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously that's good. You want to play with anger and stuff, but nothing you know, over the top, still within the constraints of your job, your assignment. And, but obviously, you know, you got to play angry to play the sport. It's, you know, especially on defense uh, with all 11 hats of the ball, violent intentions. And, you know, so that's, I mean, it's a good message. You got to be angry, but also within your job. You mentioned other South Carolina game, just wanting to get that identity back, you know, yeah. on defense. Do, do you feel like there's a chip on the shoulder, especially for some of these veteran guys to, to continue to do that, to still improve and, and find some success this season? Yeah, absolutely. You know, a lot of us, it's our last year. We don't want to, you know, leave a bad legacy of bad defense here at State, you know, and so we're obviously we got to get back to doing our thing. You know, Coach Brock puts us in great positions. Uh, he pushes us day in and day out. Can't say enough good things about him and, and just, uh, but we, we got to give it back to him by doing our job and, you know, playing fast, physical, and aggressive. And, uh, you know, like you said, get back to a, our identity. Another thing that uh, Coach talked about too, how do you, as an older guy, how do you tell the younger guys, don't look past this game towards the open date, too? Yeah, we're coming halfway the season. It's been a long preseason, half a season, but you've got a job to take care of first. Then you can take a break. Yeah, 100%. They're coming in here with nothing to lose. They should have beat Toledo, who's like, you know, big time in their conference. And, and then they just come off a big win against Ball State. So they're rolling with momentum. We just came off uh, some losses. And so they're, I mean, you got to, 
week in and week out, you got to play with mm-hmm. maximum intensity, maximum focus, and then you can worry about the bye week, getting healthy and stuff. So it's very, very focused.